do you remember what it was like to be a kid? To just have fun and do whatever the heck you wanted and also eat good food? Grilled cheese sandwich. It's three words put together that can immediately bring back a memory like it was yesterday. That incredible gooey cheese with that plain white bread. Well, now that we're actually thinking about grilled cheese sandwiches, let's make them but with a twist. Today, we're putting two versions head to head. One cooked in a trusty cast iron pan with good old butter, and the other the modern marvel of the kitchen, the air fryer. Also, I'm going to put to test and put to rest which one tastes better, one cooked with butter or cooked with mayonnaise. To start, let's get our simple but crucial ingredients together. We could go all fancy with the bread, but if we're talking about our childhood here, then it makes sense to use what we had when we were 10, that good, cheap old American style bread. Next, we've got the standard orange cheddar cheese, but I decided to get some smoked apple cheese for those of you that grew up in a fancy house. And lastly, we have the salted butter and the mayonnaise. Now, I don't know how you made your grilled cheese growing up, but for me, there were some simple but mandatory rules that you followed that you did not break. To start, you would slather on that room temperature butter all over the bread and then place that side of the bread face down on a cold pan. That way, it doesn't immediately start cooking, forcing you to run around the kitchen trying to get everything else prepared and then ready to go before that bread burns on the pan, all while running around the kitchen holding a knife slathered in butter. The next thing you'd do is cut up some of those thick slices of cheese. I always felt like I needed to slice myself an extra piece to munch on though while I was getting the rest of the sandwich ready. Once you've done finished cutting your cheese, place that onto the bread. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get some butter. You're going to put that butter onto the final pieces of the bread. Then you're going to slap it on top like so. And then once you've done that, that is when you're going to turn on the pan onto a medium heat, not before, because you will burn it. It's pretty easy to make a grilled cheese on the pan, I'd say. So when it comes to the air fryer, it should be even easier to make it, considering the fact that you don't have to flip your grilled cheese consistently. Now, growing up, mayonnaise was not something you would put on your grilled cheese. Heck, it was probably a sin back when I was a kid to even mention it. However, over the last 30 years, times have changed and people have learned to fall in love with it. Okay, so we've got two versions here. We've got the butter and we've got the mayonnaise versions. I'm actually really excited to see the results here on which machine ends up cooking the sandwiches better. I'm curious, which one do you think is going to taste better? So the first one that I'm going to do is going to be the pan. Ooh, that blew up pretty good. Seeing that I've made around 2,000 of these in my life, I figure it's just the easiest one to start with in terms of making something that I'm comfortable and familiar with. I feel that like when I was a kid, it was just sort of normal to stand in front of the cast iron pan for the entire length of time it took to make the sandwich. Because, you know, when I was a kid 25, 30 years ago, there was, I didn't need to be anywhere. I didn't have a phone. It just seemed normal to stand here and watch it cook because I knew at the end of the cooking process, I get to eat it. So I'll stick these in the air fryer because I realize I actually don't have to physically be here to flip it or do anything. It should do it all by itself. However, when cooking the grilled cheese in the air fryer, I did four minutes on one side and was able to walk away and plunk my butt on the couch, wait for the beep, then flip it for another four minutes and repeat the couch sequence again. And the best thing is that this came out looking pretty dang good. Now, looking at these four sandwiches, you wouldn't really be able to tell which one was butter and which one was mayo. The big indicator and the big difference is obviously the char level. You sort of can tell with the pan. The pan creates that charred look, whereas opposed to the air fryer, it creates more of like that golden color look. But that's what I remember as a kid, the charred look of the grilled cheese. Now, before I dive into these incredible looking sandwiches, I just want to thank the sponsor of that video, me. 
because without the help of me doing everything today, I would not be able to relive these childhood memories that have been locked in my head for over 25 years. So, thanks me. Now that we've enjoyed those memories, let's get to the best flipping part, eating these. You know what just blows my mind is the fact that it tastes so damn good. It tastes exactly how I remember it when I was a kid. And my kitchen smells incredible. My taste buds are in heaven. If I'm being honest here, the best tasting one was the air fryer. That might come as a shock to you because I was really rooting for and expecting the cast iron pan to win. It's what I grew up loving. I was not the biggest fan of the mayonnaise portion, but I was blown away with the air fryer and the butter. So I was shocked at how good it actually tasted. Now, I really want to know, which one did you think was going to win? Were you expecting the butter or the mayonnaise? I'd love to know. The bigger question is, are you going to go make one after this video is over? Because I really think you should. Just look how good these actually are. So after you've hit that like button, subscribed, and left a comment, go make those damn good grilled cheese sandwiches. It never gets full. Oh, Followed that you did not break. So the first one that I'm gonna do is going to be the pan. Woo, that blew up pretty good. Because they are the bomb. Nope. Was it up to your expectations of what I did? Look how good the fucking. Now I really wanna know. Were you experienced? So after you've left the car, so after. So after you've left the, so after you like the, the like button. So after you've hit that like button, subscribed and left a comment, go make those damn. So after you've hit the like button, subscribed and left a comment, go make those damn good childhood grilled. So after you've hit the like button, left a comment. So after you've hit that like button, so after so after you've hit that like button, subscribed, and left a comment, go make those damn good grilled cheese sandwiches.